Hi, to finish the barometer talks for this time, I've included a mercury barometer. It's a reproduction and I'll show you basically what it is. It's a Dutch reproduction. Oops, sorry, I'm, I find it difficult because this is on the wall and as it's fixed to the wall there's no way I can actually take it off and take it down. This is the mercury tube going down to the system, that's the bit at the bottom which contains the mercury that is for screwing down if it has to be moved down anywhere. And as you can see the tube is about 30 inches or more long. Don't ask me what that is in metric. I was brought up with the the uh, the imperial. Mind you, the metrics on the side, so it's there. And that is the top of the mercury. It's actually showing 770. And I think there are millibars on the other side, 1030. At the top, it's just a sealed tube. Now that part above is a vacuum which is known as a Torricellian vacuum after the gentleman who discovered it. In fact he got into a lot of trouble with the church because the church said there was no such thing as a vacuum but anyhow that's another story. That is your mercury type barometer um, sometimes called stick barometers they are or the genuine ones the, the antique ones are normally quite valuable there's the maker of that one it's actually West German but I think the the uh, the writing on it is in Dutch there's the writing I'm pretty sure that's Dutch. Anyhow, this nice little instrument, I never guess where it turned up. Yep, at my favourite boot sale at Wimbledon. And as far as I know, it, it either cost me £10 or £20. I'm not too sure. In both cases, a very good buy, and the tube wasn't broken. I always had a fancy top as well. That's known as a broken pediment made to look like an old one but it's not old it is modern anyhow that's the uh, mercury barometer how it's made simply made there is another type which as you know as the as the mercury goes up you alter the distance because the mercury is going up the height of the tube which would be taken from the level of the mercury to the top of the tube would alter so that would in fact give you a slightly false reading be it very very slight but on scientific barometers an invention was brought in called a faulting barometer and what it would mean would be that the faulting barometer had a larger reservoir of mercury and before you would read the other uh, pressure on it you had a little adjuster underneath and a little window which you could look into and on top of it was a little pointer normally made of ivory and that pointer would be set exactly right when it just touched the top of the mercury and that would give you the exact length of the tube so you would get a true reading but for household uses this is quite adequate anyhow it's got a nice little base to uh, a little cover a nice interesting talking point and that concludes the three talks on three different type of barometers. I have got more and I will put more on 
but I don't want to bore you. So that was the, that was those three. Once again, any questions, please subscribe. And once again, thank you for watching. Thank you.